Hello, everybody. My name is Giv, and today I like to share experience, my personal experience, a godly encounter, on the twenty second of September two thousand twenty one. So, um, yeah, let me start. Um, there's this woman who I respected as a sister. She brought me an autobiography. And she told a short story of the man in this book. This man was born to a miserable life situation. Then one day he came to know Jesus. He decided to accept Jesus and born again in Christ. And he got saved from that misery, and he received blessings and miracles that changed his life around from rock bottom. He's now、um, a judge in a juvenile and family court. In Thailand, so as we were talking, I flipped the page to find that the author's birthday is on twenty second of September, nineteen sixty six. So I thought to myself in my mind, oh, it's actually today, but it's just a different year. Is there something God wants to tell me on this particular day? And. In that late afternoon, I went to Esther's father's memorial service. Esther is my pastor from New Wine Church, Bangkok. And、um, in the middle of their service, as I sing this song called "Wela An San San," I had encountered with the Holy Spirit. It was almost like I'm in a place where there is no time, no one, just. Me and his presence, and then I felt like the heavy black lens that I have been wearing all my life is being pulled off from my eyes, and he showed me wisdom and understanding. It is beyond what I can express. How beautiful and graceful that moment! It's just very difficult to explain, to make people understand how it felt. I felt the presence of God, and I felt that God's truth is being revealed in my spirit. And I glance and see the front page of the lyric. It says, "Memorial Service, twenty second September, two thousand twenty one." At that very moment, suddenly. The wisdom of God kept pouring, flowing into my heart, and that wisdom gave me a breakthrough, and crushed down every stronghold that I had been fighting for my whole life. It broke down every reason from this physical realm that had tied and bind me from fully submitting to God, and God answers my prayer. He He answered my prayers. I've been praying this Bible verse for about a year. This verse from from Second Corinthians, ten point five, casting down imaginations, and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, and bringing it into captivity, every thought to the obedience of Christ. Yeah, my mind has been renewed by Christ on that moment. I understand that today is somebody's birthday, and he came into this world. He carried a burden and baggage, and facing difficulties in life, but God saved him and renewed him, so his life turned around. As another man that has gone, and he's leaving behind his title, his glory, his life's work, and his goal, his fortune, but he is very blessed. To receive Jesus, with a situation to soften his heart to receive Jesus in the last chapter of his life, before his exit from this world, and I believe that he has gone to be with the Lord. He earned eternal life, and real joy and contentment in Christ. And as I sing and cry, God's word that has rooted in my soul became alive. With vibrant colors, it's very vivid in my mind. Those verses that I did not understand before when I read Bible, 
now became clear within my spirit. My faith, my trust in Jesus, is lifted, and it's elevating through the roof. And I get the point that everything in our life is temporary. No need to hold on to the fleshy needs. If we react to our fleshy needs with our worries and trying to hold on to hypothetical, you know, things in this world, rules and reason of this physical realm, we are just acting like a king, sitting on the throne, trying to maneuver everything in our lives, trying to control. And I think as long as you are. On a throne, I mean, there is no act of faith in the sense. If you keep sitting on it, your faith might easily be shaken with a wind. You have to completely die from rules, reasons, and beliefs of this physical realm. Let go of every lofty opinion and hold tight onto His word, His truth. His word, His truth is the key to open the door of faith and spiritual freedom. Victory. When you read the word, put aside your doubt. Just believe like a children. Life is a test for eternal joy, for eternal life. Seek His heart and His will with all your heart, with all you can. Surrender all to Him. Idol does not always come in the form of things and statues. It may be just a piece of paper. A contract, your title, family, your loved ones. The more you hold on to the things of this world, the tighter it is. The further you are away from His will, away from His love. I feel like it is infidelity against God. Just take a leap of faith. Step down. We are no kings. God is king of our lives. No one else. Step out of your familiarity and surrender all hundred percent to our heavenly Father. This Bible verse that I read, and I think that it just pops in my head while I, while I realized this, says Jesus told him, "If you want to be perfect, go and sell everything you have and give the money to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. And come, follow me." But That young man, when he heard what Jesus said, he said he he turned away sadly because he was a rich man. This is from Matthew nineteen twenty one, and yeah, so his truth has set me free. I decided to let go of this idol in my life to prove my love and loyalty to him. I surrender all. This this thing meant a lot to me before because it's it's like a norm. It's like Um, it's like a status, and it's it also means money. It means glory. It means a lot of things. But I know this is my last piece, my last things that I had to show God that I can leave it behind. I can let it go. I can easily let it go after God show me His truth. And he is the king. We're not kings. And I'm walking out in faith and His word. I can see nothing. I know nothing of the future. I just believe that what I am about to do will please my Lord and give Him full decree over my life. Things that are difficult and displeasing—they are just test. The happiness from this world is short term; it's temporary. We might live what um, 60 years, 70 years, 100 years at most. I think it's just that short. It's very short. Our lifetime is very short. The ranks, titles, and fame and fortune and ownerships—everything is nothing. It is just rules and belief of this world. You can be free from it. You can be rich because God said it in the Bible. He promises so many things, but when you subdue it, when you have it, you know you can have everything you need, but you don't give your heart to it. Always remind yourself, you can have it for His will, for His people. Just walk straight in faith and obey God. Surrender all, and die from the old of this world. Put all your dreams in His hands. 
I'm not saying it is easy, but sure he would provide strength so you can endure every storm. Don't give up your hope. Don't give you can wait for big blessing that he has prepared for you. Wait with cheerful heart. I believe that excavating from Egypt to Canaan is in a moment. It's just in a moment, everybody. Be patient. Just one touch from God. So on the 22nd of September 2021, I died and free from the old of this world. And I am born again spiritually in God's truth. From John 11, 11, this Bible verse I like to. After he had said this, he went to tell them, Our friend Lazarus has fallen asleep, but I am going there to wake him up. Okay, everybody. Thank you all and see you again next time. Bye-bye. God bless.